What's going on YouTube, it's Not a Gamer 101 here and welcome to a guide on how to get the fat man here in Fallout 4. Yes, it's back and it's awesome as always. Before we go on any further though, you need to know one thing, you need to have the NPC character or companion, Nick Valentine. Now if you do not know how to get him or you don't have him yet, be sure to click this link in the video or look in the description below to see how to get him. And for those who already have Nick Valentine, you are ready to go. We're going to be doing the quest reunion and if you do not know how to set that up, I'm going to show you in the beginning of this video before we ever go on to Fort Hagen where it's actually located. Also a little side note, I recommend you come in here with plenty of inventory space so you don't get overburdened with materials because uh, the fat man is 30.7 pounds I believe so make sure you have plenty of room. Also if you found this guide helpful and any other guide on my channel be sure to hit that subscribe button to look forward to more guides on armors, weapon builds, building settlements, mods in the future, all sorts of things and also drop a like on the video if you do find this helpful. But without further ado guys let's go ahead and get started with it. Hey there's a time and a place So once rescuing Nick Valentine and you make it back to Diamond hey, City and to explain your story, he wants to help you find the murderer of your wife and help you find your son, Sean. And he's going to want to investigate this guy named Kellogg, who's this big, like, assassin pretty much for the Institute. But once you want to go up to his house, it's going to be locked and neither of you can get it open. You're going to have to come talk to the mayor to see if you can get the key to Kellogg's house. Now before going and talking to the mayor, you might need something and that's 250 bottle caps. Hopefully you're lucky as me and you don't have to do that and you can persuade him to give you Kellogg's house key and not actually have to bribe anyone to get it. In this guide I actually had to bribe somebody so I'll show that off but for my actual playthrough that I'm doing I didn't have to bribe anyone so I was lucky enough to persuade him. So technically I guess you could just save it and then try it again until you don't have to actually use it and you can persuade them. I mean because this is the same save file that I did it on it was just an earlier save of that one and it worked for me earlier but it didn't this time. But basically, go ahead and talk to him, try to persuade him if you want, and then you cannot bribe him, so do not try, or you can if you want, it's just a waste of your time. You're going to have to go to his secretary and try to bribe her. You're going to need 250 bottle caps, and then she'll give you the key on her desk. used to live in this city. I need to search his house. Please, Mayor McDonough, this man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. I see. I'm sorry, but... Fine. Thanks As you can tell, he didn't want to buy any of my bullcrap this time, even though it's the truth. Geneva. And so I gotta go to Geneva, and she will give you the key. Why do you want and yes, you can actually try to persuade her too, Maybe but if that doesn't work, go ahead and bribe her, get the key, and then head back to Kellogg's house. A gift? For me? Oh, how generous. Oh, there I go again, leaving a key out on my desk and forgetting to put it back. Word of advice? Never call your mother a synth unless she really is one. Oh, look who it is. So now that we're back at Kellogg's house, we're going to go ahead and go in, but there's going to be nothing around here, but there's got to be something. So there's a little secret switch below his desk that opens up a secret room. In this room, there's basically nothing major. It's not like he's in there or anything, but it leaves something that gives his scent off for your dog to actually go and find him. So that's what this whole entire beginning of this quest is about. You're going to find two cigars on this table, and then you're going to let your dog sniff them out and then go find Kellogg. But I'm going to go ahead and stop talking and show you off the gameplay. You can kind of skip ahead if you want. Basically, we're just going to show this off to our dog, and he's going to sniff it out, and we got to follow him. I'm not going to show me following him, because you're going to do the exact same thing. You just need to follow him to Fort Hagen. So as soon as this is done, I am going to cut over to Fort Hagen, and we are going to continue to there to actually find the fat man. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Well... Dog meat seems eager for the job. Why don't you let him have a whip? See if he picks up on the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. You have to face Kellogg on your own. Little side note, I recommend you definitely bring Valentine with you. He's with great to have a companion, right. just an ally to help Let's you out through it. And he also hacks terminals for you, which is it's awesome. It's a great Here companion. Out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Take me to him, boy. Take me to Sean. I've been told the Valentine Detective Agency signs are an eyesore. But they sure bring in the business.
Now after all that dialogue and everything, we are finally at Fort Hagen after following our dog here, and this is gonna be the little main city where you stop. But you can't get inside, so you're gonna find this little side door, it's not hard. I am gonna show you on the map where it's located, just in case you wanna know. I'm trying to show you everything I possibly can so I don't miss anything. But once you're done with this, you're gonna go over to this right side. Watch out, there's gonna be mutants everywhere, so that's what I had to do, I just had to run inside, pretty much. And we're gonna go in. Now, I did go ahead and clear everything out, so I didn't have to really deal with that in the video. I could just show you the location. I think I have to kill, like, two, like, synths in this video, and that's about it. Uh, and if you can tell what weapon I'm using, I'm actually using their weapon. It's called the Institute Rifle, and I recommend picking it up because they're gonna keep giving you ammunition throughout this entire, like, run-through, and it does good damage on them. So that's what I would recommend doing, is picking it up, and it just kind of annihilates them. Now, I'm not just going to ramble on this entire video as I walk through this entire place. I'm just going to shut up and let you guys watch. And you can pause the video at any time you want and kill your sense and then watch where I keep going and stuff. And this is the terminal that I was kind of talking about. There's going to be plenty of these throughout this entire area. And you can get Valentine to go hack it for you and then you can use it. For instance, this one right here, you can actually power up a protection robot to help you, which is pretty awesome. I didn't even use it to fight off the sense, but hopefully you guys find use for it. Now also, now also, I'm not going to be sprinting anywhere just so you guys can, I can go kind of slow and you guys can watch and see where I go as you kill all these enemies. There's going to be plenty of enemies for you to kill here, so just want to go ahead and point that out. And uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and see where we need to go to get our fat man. Here's a little side note, you can go ahead and cut to the left and there's going to be some, you know, craftsman table for you, some workbenches. So if you feel like, you know, making yourself a little armor mod or weapon mod, go ahead and take your time and make some. Also, another little side note, before we go on to the Fat Man, we're actually getting really close. Take a little left detour into this little lunchroom area, and then BAM! We got yourself an energy weapons little bobblehead, so make sure you go ahead and pick that up. Whoever or whatever you are, I know you are. Okay. 
And now we're finally going to come to the room where we finally get our Fat Man. Now, I want to say something real quick. This terminal right here, for the first playthrough, I had to have Valentine go and hack it. But for some reason in this guide, I didn't have to do that. I just had to sign on myself and it opened. I don't know if it was like a glitch and like... It, th it thought I already did it because I did it last time. I have no idea. Let me know in the comment sections below if it works for you or not. For Valent for this time, Valentine didn't have to do anything and I just had it. It's like I already had a password or something. But if you cannot get in for some reason, ask a comment below or tweet at me. And I'll probably go ahead and put it in the description below if I find out like if there is something that I am missing. Anything that I ever miss in a guide, I put it in the description. So, uh, but go ahead and open this door. You gotta pick one lock that's like a novice rank, so it's really easy. And then you are gonna get your Fat Man. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I was so happy when I happened to stumble across this. And I was like, oh, I have to make a guide for this. You know, I know people really need to see this. So there you go. And if you are looking for more Fallout 4 content, be sure to check out other videos on my channel. I have all sorts of guides. I'm gonna be doing mods when they start coming out. It's just a fantastic game. I have loved the beginning so far. I think I'm like level 15 or something. It has been so amazing. I can't wait to see what else I will find. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see some more Fallout 4 guys, check out the playlist. And remember at the end of the day, guys, this is not just a channel. It is a family. And I'll see you guys later.